I know that my brother had online communication with Sarah on two separate occasions. I know from Sarah that she did meet him at a golf establishment, but my brother does not have any recollection of that meeting or messaging her. I told my sister that I don't remember this girl. I do not ever remember speaking to her. She said we met, met up. I never remember meeting up with her. Somebody is lying. Well, just three weeks ago, Sarah was caught catfishing several women for years using Alan's pictures from social media. Sarah says she didn't know her father, so pretending to be Alan allowed her to be the father she always imagined. Sarah more than just took the name uh, Alan. She really hijacked your life and every aspect of it. Here is one of Sarah's collages uh, that she put together of Alan. Uh, this is what she built up all of these pictures. This is just kind of a highlight reel of your life, right? Yeah. And you put all of these together. This, this is a lot of work that goes into pulling all these together, right? Yeah. And what was your desired effect in putting all these together? What was it you wanted the effect to be when you presented all this to one of your victims? That there's no question that I'm somebody else. Okay, you wanted them to go for it hook, line, and sinker, right? right. You wanted them all in. Mm -hmm. You wanted them committed, heart and soul. You wanted them to believe it's you, that you are Alan, and, and commit to the relationship. That was my intention. Commit their heart to the relationship. Mm -hmm. What did what, you think about your relationship here? Uh, did, did you think that he would ever find out about this? Oh, I always knew it was wrong. I knew it was bad. How do you feel about the fact that he knows about it now? Um, along with anybody that knows it, um, I'm extremely embarrassed and ashamed and you know, not worthy of him or his time with me now. I am happy he knows because it's, it's completely open and maybe he can help me cope with it and become stronger with it. I wouldn't have anybody else by my side rather than him. He's, mm -hmm. he's been a trooper through it all. Why is it wrong? Why is it, it's, it's not right. It's not right having someone else's identity. Well, I know it's not right, but I'm waiting for you to tell me why it's wrong. Why it's wrong? It's, it's wrong to hurt people the way I have. So how does somebody feel when you've gotten them to go all in, fall in love with who they think you are, and then find out that it's all a scam? What does that do to them? Um, I imagine it doesn't do anything good for them. I imagine it, that it hurts. It's something that I didn't think about when I was doing it and I can't imagine the pain or the hurt that they're feeling waiting for somebody to come around that's not. Are you sorry that uh, you've done this or are you sorry that you got caught? I am extremely sorry that I've done this. I've always been sorry that I've done this. I've never enjoyed it. I've never liked that I did this. I it was always a deep, dark secret that I kept to myself because I knew it was wrong. I felt bad. I am sorry. I'm not sorry that I got caught because I needed to get caught. Well, here's a statement from one of Sarah's victims. This person entered my life at a vulnerable time. A long-term marriage had just ended and I liked the attention. He seemed to know everything about Alan and provided lots of pictures. This gave me a false sense of security. I was invited to go on several events, dates, including a fishing event, but he always canceled last minute. I just kept hoping this was real. He absorbed months of my time and attention. This charade needs to stop. It's emotionally scarring. How do you feel about that? I, I feel absolutely horrible. I and ashamed of myself.